Hello everyone, it's Dan Kemper here coming at you with another video. That's right, we are back in the Genera Club kitchen for yet another cooking video. Who's excited? Me, for sure. Today we're doing a follow-up to a video. This is the first follow-up that we've done so far. Many moons ago, we took a BuzzFeed quiz to decide which quarantine trend we should try. Ooh, there we go. We're gonna get creative. We're gonna make a whipped coffee. Mm, is that a trend? So today, we've decided to take on the challenge and make our very own DIY whipped coffee. And of course, we are the experts of cooking here, obviously. So why not combine the two and let's get started. This whipped coffee recipe is very simple. You take two tablespoons of grounded instant coffee and put that in a bowl, in a glass bowl. Then you take two tablespoons of white granulated sugar. You can buy that as well. And then you take two tablespoons of hot, but not boiling water and add it to this mixture. I love how I miss the tablespoon altogether. And that should do the trick. Now with this mixture, there's only one thing left to do is to whip this mixture until it becomes creamy and frothy. And you whip it in the shape and it real good. <laughs> I think this is gonna take a while. So let's speed up the process and use an electric mixer. Like consistency. That's what we're really aiming for here. Next, we've got a glass here. We're gonna serve our whipped iced coffee in a glass. We've got some ice. We're gonna add some milk, full fat milk, best way to be. And pour this in here. Until it's about that full. Because we've got to remember we're going to leave room for our coffee mixture. Then, what we're going to do is we're going to spoon some of our coffee into our cup. That's a cool effect. Do one more. Cool. I think that should about do that. Then what we're gonna do is attack our spoon. And apparently you have to give it a bit of a mix somehow. I think like that, that's gonna <laughs> That's gonna have that to it. Ooh, look at 
that. That one. What is inside there? Look at the milk changing color down there. Look at that. I think we're doing it. I think we're gonna have two successes in a row here. That looks like something out of a cafe. Like that is some next level barista stuff. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take it back out to the outdoor veranda and enjoy our whipped coffee and let you know what we think. <laughs> So we're here at the taste test. We are in the lounge room. We are lounging around. And we've got our whipped coffee here for the taste test. Something that's happened between, between shoots is, or between shots really, is the whipped coffee is starting to get a little bit of a, a little bit of a head on it. So it'll be interesting to see if that's the whipped part of it. Don't know. But here we go. Cheers to everyone. Let's see if BuzzFeed is right and I should have tried a whipped coffee. Whew. Daddy's not sleeping tonight, that's for sure. Oh, that is... Oh. I love my coffee, but man alive, that is some caffeine right to the punch. That is super strong, but also I don't know if it's, I don't know if it's that, but I don't really have iced coffee that often. So I don't know if it's just sort of a placebo effect or what the story is, but that is very strong. But it's very, very good. Like it is highly caffeinated. That'll that'll get you moving in the morning. Like I've only drunk not even like half of it. And I'm already feeling like I'm ready to take on the day. But so there we go. I it's it's strong. That's a strong, that's a good strong cup of coffee. But also I think it depends, like I used a dark roast. So I don't know if that had anything sort of impacting it or like if you needed a lighter roast, would it have a lighter flavor? I don't know, but it doesn't look that dark also. So who knows, science. Any scientists leave a comment below if you, if you greatly appreciate it. But that is that is a good cup of coffee and I'm gonna sit here and enjoy the rest of this and we'll see you for the outro. So there you have it. There was the taste test for the whipped coffee and I must say that was, I am very wired right now. I've got a lot of things going on in my brain and it was just, it seems to me that it's just been it's just concentrated coffee and just, it just binds it all together and makes magic happen. Um, is it something I'm going to do every day? Eh, probably not. I don't think so because it just, it seems, it is a bit of an effort to do every day, but it is certainly something that I would probably do and have it last a few days. Like I showed you, after making those two glasses, we still had probably about two more worths of whipped coffees there. So there you go. There's a simple way 
that you can do a wet coffee at home because I know during these times that not everyone can get out to a cafe. So you only need simple ingredients like instant coffee, sugar, water and milk and ice if you want ice. Ice is optional. So there you go. That's going to do it for us this week. Thank you so much for watching everyone. And I neglected to do this last video. But massive shout outs to Jimmy the Pineapple over here. Jimmy the Pineapple's been the MVP of the last couple of weeks here in the Jack Live kitchen. He has been there for us. He hasn't said a single word. He stayed quiet the entire videos. So Jimmy's the real saint here, we must admit. Well, that's gonna do it for us. You can support this and everything that I do over on my Patreon, over at patreon.com slash Dale Campbell. That's P-A-T-R-E-O-N dot com slash Dale Campbell. D-A-L-E-C-A-M-P-B-E-L-L. -L. And you can follow my many great adventures over on my Instagram. What's coming for you next week? <laughs> You know, I knew what was coming once, that's, that's better than ever before. But until next week, we'll have another video coming at you. Real soon. Thanks for watching. Bye!